<clears throat> hey guys, real quick, before the video starts, I just wanna say that uh, I filmed this video over the course of two days. Yesterday, I had long hair on my sides. I filmed a bit, then I got a haircut. And then today, I filmed all the cutaways. Um, so that's why I have two different lengths of hair in this video. Also, I've got very chapped lips at the moment. So let's go ahead and start the real video. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Joe. And today's hairstyle has been uh, made using completely original as a pre-styler and a post-styler. Before I got the product in, I was running out of my little sample jar. So I've been practicing cocktailing using an original as a pre-styler and something else as a post-styler. But today, it's 100% original. Hashtag good product, hashtag wink wink, hashtag go get some, hashtag this is Joe Marketing in case you haven't figured it out. Anyways, onto the actual video for today. Why slash how should you use a blow dryer? So as per usual, when I do videos like this, I like to start out with the basics. That's what I'm gonna do now and we'll progress a bit more, get a bit more detailed as we get later on in the video. So let's go ahead and start out with why. Why use a blow dryer? Hmm? A few reasons. First reason is because a blow dryer allows you to use less product to finish off your style after you finish blow drying. And this is a good thing because since this allows you to use less product, you're not going to weigh down your hair by adding too much, which could result in hair flop later on in the day. A little bit of product and a blow dryer should result in a hairstyle lasting a lot longer. So the second reason, a blow dryer almost always enhances any kind of style that you're trying to go for. In terms of hairstyles though, if you're going for a quiff, or a slick back or even a fringe hairstyle, you know, facing down, using a blow dryer is gonna help enhance that style and make it easier to work with uh, when you're applying product. I'll go ahead and show you two examples. For this first example, I'm styling my hair without a blow dryer. My hair is clean and dry and I'm going to be applying Original by Blumon straight into it and attempt to get it into the style that I normally have. <laughs> There's two problems with this. First, since my hair is not already dried into that position I want, it's a lot more effort to make it go that way. The second problem, I have to apply more product than usual, which in turn makes it look less natural. Which brings me to my second example. Now I'll be using a blow dryer going for the exact same look. After blow drying it into the desired direction, not only is it much easier to apply product, but I'm also able to use less and get a more natural looking hairstyle. It looks better, basically, all in all. Now, I understand that there's exceptions to the rule and um, not everyone is going to need a blow dryer. So if you're one of those people, don't get mad at me. I know that you exist. My point was to basically show you how a blow dryer can enhance your style if you use it correctly. Okay, so that brings us to the next section. How should we use a blow dryer. This obviously comes down to your hair type and the type of style that you're wanting to go for. However, there are a few tips that can be applied to everyone using a blow dryer, so that's what I'll go through now. First up, the damper your hair is before you start, the better the style will look once you're finished blow drying. Now, I'm not saying that you need to blow dry your hair while it's soaking wet, but basically the damper it is, the more it will listen once it's dry. This is simply because the drier that your hair is, the more it's trying to fall into its natural state in terms of texture, the way it grows, those kind of things. But if you blow dry it when it's wet, you're not giving your hair the opportunity to fall into its natural position, thus allowing you to blow dry in the direction that you want to. You get it? Basically, if you blow dry when it's really wet, it can't really fight against you, if that makes sense. Secondly, the more heat that you use when you blow dry, again, the more your hair will listen to you. Basically, hot air loosens up your hair follicles and makes it um, so that they are more prone to listening to what you're trying to tell them to do when you're blow drying them into a specific direction. People often ask me if it's okay to use the hottest setting on your blow dryer, and my answer is it depends on how healthy your hair is. If you take care of your hair generally and you feel like it's pretty healthy, I say go for it, use the hottest heat. However, if your hair is more on the drier side, then um, I'd suggest using the medium heat setting, not on full blast heat. And of course, I'll always recommend using a heat protectant before you blow dry to add some extra protection to your hair. And in case you forgot, Original by Blumon has a heat protectant element built into it, as well as pre-styling uh, capability, as well as post-styling capability. 
So it just does everything. Finally, when your hair is completely dry, or at least almost completely dry, switch over from the hot setting on your blow dryer to the complete coldest setting and continue blow drying your hair in the same direction as you've been doing. Just as hot air opens up the hair follicles, cold air closes them back down and locks them into position. By blasting your hairstyle with cold air is gonna help uh, make that style last longer as well. And also when you're blow drying with cold air, you can hold the blow dryer closer to your hair because that's gonna give a greater impact, but it's not gonna damage your hair at all. All right, good job everyone for listening so far. I've just got one more thing to talk about, and this is hairstyling tools, like in addition to a blow dryer. I'm gonna be showing you how styling tools can make a big difference on your final outcome. First, I'll be using this paddle brush to go for a side swept look without too much volume. I'm simply blow drying my hair in the same direction the entire time to get it to set straighter. One last coating of product to set it all together and boom, shagalaka, the first style is done, son. I know you like bun, son. Is that, how does the song go? And for the second style, again, starting with damp hair and original as a pre-styler, I'm going for much more volume. I'm using a round brush this time to curl my hair in an upwards position and to build in some crazy height. <laughs> I've gone through this quickly because I'll probably be making a more in-depth hairstyle later on using this technique, but as you can tell, it's super different to the first style. Granted, there might be a bit too much volume going on, but the point was to make a difference from the first hairstyle and that's what I did. One more application of original because, well, I like showing it off. And uh, there you go. All right guys, and thus concludes this week's video. If you've got any more questions regarding blow dryer styles in general, make sure you check out the Blue Mind community group on Facebook, that group is fire. I'm telling you, I've never seen such an active group in my entire life. Granted, I haven't really looked around for any other ones because um, it's such a great group. Don't need to look for any others. You can find that link in the description along with my Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all that good stuff along with community, social media as well. It's all down there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see everyone next time.